All right, first things first, let's talk about the interception and the good hands, the reaction time, speed for the touchdown. I mean, I mean, all that's taught by my coaches, both in football and in wrestling, you know, hand-eye coordination, footwork, and I mean, really just watching film with the coaches, you know, knowing where I need to be at the right time and tip drills, all, all the coaches on that. That'd have been a lot of fun, though, huh? Yeah, it's always fun scoring. <laughs> yeah, the offensive guys always get all the fun, and finally you get a chance to put it in the end zone. Is there a chance that maybe they'll hand you the football here a little bit sooner and get you maybe involved in the offense? Nah, I doubt it. I mean, I'm I'm I was an all uh, I think I was an all conference O lineman, you know, or I was something O lineman. So I mean, I'm pretty good O lineman, and uh, it's all about you know winning the game. I don't care if I get the credit or not. Uh, we need to see you run the football a little bit more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if coach will do that for you. That's a big win for you guys up there, isn't it? Yeah, that's huge. Uh, that coach is really changing them around. Um, and their quarterback Jose, he's a good athlete. And they had Burchett, he was a good guy. And their lineman, so I mean, they, they're a pretty good team. You know, as you as you look at a scale of wins, not to maybe grade it, but how big is this for you guys to go over there and beat them, knowing how improved they are? Man, that might be our biggest game for a while, honestly, because, I mean, it's always rough playing there. They have a pretty good uh, environment there. You know, people are excited about football in Knightstown. And, uh, I mean, and honestly, I mean, they're 2A, we're 1A, and, and they've been to state a few times. And so it's just it's always good beating Knightstown. I tell you what, your focus this week, talk about the it's, the routine's a little bit different because you don't play till Saturday, yeah. you don't play till Saturday night. Does that change anything this week? And then at the same time, staying focused and make sure that everything's ready for game two? Um, yeah, I mean, it changes a little bit, obviously, because we're not playing on Friday, you know. Just Thursday and Friday are going to be similar practices. and Not walkthroughs, but not as intense as the beginning of the week. And then Saturday, where I think we're going to get up and do not do pretty much just a walkthrough just to make sure no one's sleeping in until 2 o'clock or anything, you know. Yeah, I hear you. How, uh, as you look at Centerville and go back to last year, I'm always curious uh, what you remember about last year's game, and they talked about Ari this week. They thought maybe you guys last year won that game because you were so much more physical than they were. I mean, it's definitely part of it, but, I mean, also we just shut their offense down. You know, they didn't score a touchdown, so, I mean, I think that's a testament to how good our defense is, and, uh, I mean, we scored 20 points on offense, so, and their defense didn't stop that, so I think it was just, it was a good ball game for us, yeah. not it, just physical, you know. Yeah, I was going to say, and, and, and the thing is about last year's game, too, is that you guys, I think, got better as the season went along. Not saying they didn't, but it seemed like you guys just week by week got better and better. Yeah, I mean, that's that's our goal. Our goal is to be at our peak come uh, playoff time. You know, we don't want to, oh, we beat Knightstown or say we beat Centerville this week or we beat, you know, Shenandoah later. You know, that stuff doesn't matter. We don't we don't even care about conference. We want to win. We want to win it all. Right, yeah. exactly. What do they do well as you look into this one? I know they've only played the one game in the scrimmage, but what have you seen in them that is a con of a concern as you go into Saturday night's game? Um, I mean, Pritchett's pretty good. You know, they, they like hand the ball off to him, obviously. Um, it looks like maybe Hobson and Benedict are getting the ball a little bit. I mean, they're good athletes. I've, I've been playing against them since I was a little kid, you know. So, um, they're, I mean, Pritchett's a good linebacker, too. So, I mean, Pritchett, he's a lot, you know. Uh, he's a real deal, isn't he? Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. The venue itself and just staying focused, and a lot of times uh, the younger players especially get in an environment like that. They're wide-eyed and they haven't been there before. You guys have witnessed uh, something like that, but what do you do to help out the younger guys, making sure everybody stays focused? I mean, just approach it like it's any other game. I mean, yeah, obviously we're playing on a college football field, and there's probably going to be more people there because, I mean, for whatever reason, this is somewhat of a rivalry, you know. Um, so... I mean, we're just going to look at it like it's any other game, and we got to tell the young guys. I mean, that's what we've been telling these guys all week. Like, don't get all amped up. I mean, this is just a normal week for us. All right, is that a message you tell the younger guys before kickoff? Listen, stay focused and, and stay level. Before kickoff? <laughs> um, before kickoff, we get pretty amped up, actually. I mean, once the game is going, it's like uh, our intensity level rises, but we don't want to be, you know, beating the crap out of each other or, you know, freaking out throughout the week. I mean, we're we're watching film, and we know what they're going to do or what they're going to try to do against us, and we're just going to prepare like we normally would.